there's an opportunity for shout outs at the end of the meeting you need to come and speak to Amy wave at everybody Amy the lovely Amy and she'll take your name you're everyone the point is that everybody has an opportunity to speak but also it's important that we respect the process okay um, my first announcement and excuse me I have to have a prop for this I was at a meeting earlier today and we were interrupted by a lady who was rushing off to the airport and she would like to share with us I've got to get it the right way out this is the state flag of Tennessee and she was from Occupy Nashville and this is the flag of Occupy Nashville and she would like that to go up as part of our decor here and greetings from Occupy Nashville and let us take a round of applause for all the occupations across the world. We are the 99% and we are strong and we are growing and we are not going away. And if anybody here would like to volunteer to put that up somewhere appropriate, that would be really good. And take a picture, you'd love a picture if you could upload that perhaps onto the website. Okay, we have a volunteer. Please come and get the flag. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, let me just, I'm sorry for those of you who've heard this all before, but I think it's really important that we start every meeting to explain to those of you who haven't been before what the process is. We are operating direct democracy by consensus. Is there anyone here who'd like to come and explain the hand signals? Okay, yes, we have a, we have a volunteer. So, um, the, the, in order to make meetings work effectively, keep your points positive and um, proactive. Please try not to repeat the points that were made before. And we have some quite important hand signals, which if you're not familiar with them, my friend here is about to come and explain. Signal number one is, um, if you put your finger up like that, it means you'd like to speak. If you put your finger up like that, it means you'd like to speak. Everybody do that, no shouting out. If you can't hear, do that. If you have a technical point, which is not about the subject of the conversation, but like a tent is on fire, uh, or, or some information was given out wrong, like we'll see you at 4 o'clock and actually it's 5. Is that my technical point? If you have a point which is uh, directly relating to some, something that someone's just said and you'd like to jump the queue. <laughs> this is if you agree with what's being said. It's a really nice one. I feel good when I do it. Yeah. And if you really disagree, it's that one. They know. <laughs> some of you know more than me. Why don't you volunteer? All right, and it really helps when people are speaking. If you agree with what they're saying, then let them know that you agree with what they're saying, okay? And if you want to address the meeting, you need to come and speak to Amy, and she will help to facilitate that for you. Okay, so um, I, have, I, I hope that there is someone here to update us from Finsbury Square. Okay, uh, if there is somebody here to update us from Finsbury Square, can they make their way here, please? Um, a, a couple of things that you need to know about the process tomorrow. Working groups uh, generally meet at 10 o'clock. There is a process group, and the process group are the sort of people helping to organise ourselves, and they'll be meeting at 10 o'clock and again at 5 o'clock, and the process meet group at 5 o'clock will set the agenda for this meeting tomorrow night. Um, I have also been asked to share something with you all, and I would, this is really important, people. There are lots of people watching us and the way that we conduct ourselves, and there have been some issues about, let me just describe it as antisocial behaviour. And it has been, it has been a long-going discussion, and there is a meeting tomorrow at six o'clock to discuss making this a drugs and alcohol free zone. This is something that has happened in other uh, Occupy zones. Uh, Finsbury Square have declared themselves to be a drug and alcohol free zone. I do not propose that we discuss it at the meeting tonight because this is a political meeting and we're going to talk about politics tonight. 
But if you, if this is something that is, concerns you, the meeting will be at six o'clock tomorrow. And if you are here, can I ask you to please respect that there are many people at this camp who are camping out here at night and going to work every morning and they need a good night's sleep. And we have to police ourselves together and look after ourselves together in our new society. And please, will everybody, we cooperate with that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let us, um, at the other meeting I have to advise you of is that there is a group who want to discuss the revision of the initial statement. And I will read the initial statement at the end of this meeting, because it's quite uplifting to finish the meeting on that point. So if you are interested in discussing the revision of the initial statement, that meeting will be at five o'clock tomorrow. As with all things, this should be communicated through the information tent. Okay, this is the point in the meeting where we are welcoming updates from working groups and from Finsbury Park. I will ask people to keep their reports back for a minute. And just so that you know what the agenda is, once we've had those reports back from the working groups, um, we have a proposal about outreach and then there will be discussion groups for half an hour and then there will be a brief report back from that and then after that will be shout outs. If you want to make a shout out, Amy is the woman you need to speak to. Thank you. Do we have a working group update, please? Okay, good evening. My name's Alan, working in the tech tent around the corner. A few points. You may already know, but our wiki is up at occupywiki.co.uk. You're all welcome to use it. We have sub pages for Occupy St. Paul's and Occupy Finsbury Square. I've been over to Finsbury Square. One of the things the tech team are really requesting there are tables and more laptops. Anyone wants to donate a laptop or go over there and help with the live stream, that would be really appreciated. We're setting up forums for people in the working groups here, so if any of you want to be involved in that or want a forum for your working group, come over and see me after the meeting. We'll set that up for you. We have a printer, an industrial printer now in the tent, so if any of you have got posters or you've got information you need printed out, come and see me. And one final request, if anyone has access to a biofuel generator, that would be really useful. Thank you all. Okay, um, it's not Finsbury Park, it's Finsbury Square. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely lovely. It's a lovely big square of grass. It's a bit quieter than here. Um, we've got about, I don't know, perhaps 60, 60 small tents and one lovely big marquee. It's actually the kitchen marquee that got blown down in the gale a, cu a couple of days ago and it's now looking absolutely magnificent. Um, We've got beautiful banners all around already. It's very, it's, a, it's very mellow. So, any, and I would thought if somebody wants a quiet night, um, you've got to get to work in the morning. It might be a good idea to just, you know, check out um, how Finsbury Square uh, feels. Um, I'm just going to ask Chris here, my colleague here, the other Chris, to just say a few things about some of the things which we need uh, and about the kitchen concretely, Chris. Uh, we only really need tables and chairs and things like that brought over there. Like, uh, there's loads of food, there's another kitchen like we've got running here. Yeah, just some more tables. If you know anyone that's got tables, you can bring them down. Comfy cushions, things like that. It's a nice quiet space that we've got over there. Anyone's welcome, like, as here. That's my I thing. I know the kitchen here as well is still running smoothly. There's hot food constantly. Yeah, everything's good. Perhaps, perhaps just say that um, in our dreams, in my dream anyway, we kind of bud out a bit, and we kind of bud out so that we're this side of the Bank of England, or the other side of the Bank of England, maybe another one on the other side, and maybe four or five around the Bank of England, building up to kind of um, doing, a, <laughs> doing some like, magical spells around the whole Bank of England, and maybe, maybe towards uh, November the 9th and November the 30th. Halloween. And, and especially, obviously, the first one is Halloween. Let's spook them. Hello everyone, um, I'm questioning a, a working group set up on Tuesday, we call ourselves EEE, which stands for Energy, Equity, Environment. 
Um, and we finally believe that climate change should be at the core of this movement. Um, we have spent the last few days putting together a, a text that I agree is by no means perfect, but we, we think that should include, be included in the initial statement somehow. And I'm just going to read that up to you now. Yeah. The present unjust and exploitative economic system also pollutes land, sea and air. It's caused massive loss of natural species and environment. And it's accelerating humanity towards irreversible global warming. We call upon individuals, organizers and governments to co-create a sustainable economic system that benefits present and future generations. If anyone, ideally I would like to put this to a vote to on this General Assembly to for it to be included in the initial statement, but I understand it might not happen tonight. Um, this group is meeting again on Wednesday afternoon and we also run an email list uh, that anyone who wants to be involved in that email list can come and speak to me at any point now.